What is up guys? Today I'm gonna teach you how to make a little fin in 20 minutes or less. Let's go. So what's a little fin? A little fin is a 3D print that allows you to see a picture through your 3D print by varying the thickness of the print. I'll leave a link to Wikipedia in the description below and you can follow that and be able to see a proper scientific definition of what a little fin is. Little fins make great gifts or small trinkets for friends and family. Here's a little fin that I did on my FDM printer for some of my friends and family. Now let's get to the good stuff. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna look for a photo that you would like to create the little fin from. You can do a search on Google or you may use one of your own personal favorites. So here I'll do a search for one that I like to test, which is that of a lion. So I do a search for a lion head and I find the picture that I'm looking for. Once I have the picture, I load it up into my favorite image editing program. And what I do from there is I adjust the levels. So I make the lights and darks balanced and then I save it as a grayscale file. I adjust the contrast a little bit so that way you can see the differences between the lights and the darks. Here I'm using GIMP, which is a free image editing software, but if you have Photoshop or something similar, you could use that. I also like a very good piece of software that's free for Windows called Paint.net. So if you're on Windows, you could use Paint.net. If you're on a Mac, you could use this software, which is called GIMP. So once I've edited the image, what I do is I save it and I export it as a JPEG file. And then I go to my browser and I go to littlefanemaker.com and I adjust these settings. I'm going to leave in the description the exact settings I used for this particular little fan. Once you're finished, export your file as an STL file. And once you have your STL file, you can load it up in your favorite slicer and proceed to slice it. You can then put that on your printer to be printed. So what are the advantages of using an SLA printer for little fans? Well, if you were to do this same exact print on an FDM printer, it'll probably take you about five to six hours minimum. This little fan took over 24 hours to print on my FDM printer. And the reason for that is to get the resolution that you need, you're gonna have to print it vertically. But on an SLA printer, we have such a minute resolution to work with, you can actually print this flat. So this particular little fan that you see here, I actually printed it flat. And guess what? It took 11 minutes to print. So once it's done, I give it a wash with IPA. I remove it from the print bed and give it a good wash in some soap water. I then put it to cure and here you have it my little fan printed on an SLA printer. If you'd like to see the settings I used on the printer to print this little fan, click here. This little fan was printed with Elegoo Grey, but you can get better results by varying the colors. You can use white or you can use some other contrasting colors. Clear does not work very well, so try to keep away from that. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. I'll be very glad to help. So there you have it guys. How to print a little fan on an SLA printer in 20 minutes or less. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe for more great content. And don't forget to click that little bell. Have a good one and happy printing.